Today, I'm gonna test if SBCs or the store is better for pack luck. Today, they released the 81 double upgrade. I'm gonna make 50 of them to have 100 times an 81 plus player. And I'm gonna test that against store packs that have a minimum of 81 rated as well. We're gonna open this one twice. It's gonna give us 70 times an 81 plus. And then we open this one 10 times for the remaining 30 81 pluses. So in this video, you will see 100 times 81 plus in SBCs against 100 times 81 plus in the store. Let's just check it out. Which one is better? And let's start with the SBC packs. I made 50 of them, a total of 100 times an 81 plus player. Can we get something good? for the first pack that's a no by the way before we continue let me know in the comments how many walkouts you think i get from the sbc packs and the store packs let's see who is the closest and don't cheat pack number three we get a walkout already that's probably me or it's kelly <laughs> but we get our first walkout not too bad for the third pack already and pack number eight gives us an inform. It's not a walkout inform, but that's quite decent. Oh, that's a walkout. I skipped it. I wasn't expecting it anymore. But we do get another 86. That's pack number 11. Two walkouts and an inform. And another inform. Pack 13. And it's a walkout. Diallo. Not bad. There we go. That's pretty good. Like, he's super cheap because he's a right back with 45 defending. But he has other positions. Looks like a decent card, actually. Another inform. I don't know which pack this is. It's another walkout. It's a decent card. Just fodder. But it's a walkout. Another walkout. We're perfectly halfway there. That's gonna be Gabriel. But we haven't seen a promo card yet. We've seen a few informs and a few walkouts, but so far the pack weight on the special cards is very low. Finally, a walkout again. I think it took like 10 packs. Okay, it's a woman. <laughs> I thought Haaland for a second, but it's Hagerberg. Still nice 89 rated. Another inform, back to back. So after Hagerberg, we now get an inform. Not a walkout though, but it is another 83 inform. They are pretty bad, I'm not gonna lie. We only have 10 of them left and we didn't get any promo cards yet. We just got like a few walkouts and informs. But this is honestly an above average pack, I'm not gonna lie. Like we don't even get many 84s. We got three left, we do get an inform. It's not a walkout, so I'm gonna skip it. An 83 again. But we only got two packs left and no promo cards yet. And we didn't get it in this one, so we have one left. Can this save it, please? It's not even a walkout. It's an 83 and an 81. I don't even remember how many walkouts or informs we got, but it will be on the screen right now. If you would buy all these players, it would cost you 220,000 coins. But now it's time for the store packs. If we would buy them all with coins, there would be 500,000 coins. So it's more than double. But the difference about the packs is that these two big packs are tradable and they're five guaranteed to be 83 or higher. So we have a slightly better chance on getting something good. And if we do get it, we can sell it. So we could reduce that on the actual price. But let's see what we're getting. We're gonna start with the bad pack, of course, and we're gonna end on the two good packs. First pack is a walkout right away. And Carver Hall is not a bad start. Like, we do get the lower end of walkouts, besides Hagerberg that we, that we got. Still nice, 89 rated. But that's a decent start. But by the way, no matter the result of these packs, don't spend money on this game. I do it for entertainment purposes only. I would not spend money on it if it wasn't for content. It's not worth it. Next pack is really bad. Again, no special card. We do get a walkout, though. That's Grimaldo, another 86 fodder card with an 82 and 81 with it. Next one is really bad again. So is the next one and the next one and another one. This one is even worse. This is what I'm telling you guys. Even though the price of this pack is not that much, you're like, oh, it's only it's only one euro, only one dollar, only one whatever, you know? It's gonna add up. It's not worth it. And you get nothing out of it. <laughs> See, it's just getting worse. And this was the last one already. Now we only have the two big packs left. And we got three times an 83. It's not worth it, guys. Okay, time for the big packs. 1,500 FC points or 175,000 coins. What are we getting from this? Okay, we get a special card. We get a promo player. Who is it gonna be? Okay, we also get Raiten. Decent. And then we get a pretty much discard special card, you know? What else 
is in here. Another inform, and they're tradable, which is nice with this pack. But look, he's 10,000 coins. She is 10,000 coins at the moment. She's around 4,000 coins. The rest is pretty much discard. And then we get an 88 that is around like 16,000 coins. It's just not worth it. Yes, we do get finally a promo card, but what do you get from it? Not much. And the last pack, the last points that we have. Again, don't spend it, guys. But we do get another one. Who is this? Center back. This is what I'm telling you. <laughs> it's just not worth it. We do get a gold Harry Kane with it. That is a little bit of coins. I think it's like 25, 30k coins maybe. What else is here? Another inform. Kane who's around 30,000 coins. Michelle around 10,000. Him being discard. Informs being discard. And we get some 84s here. So which one do you think was more worth it? And did you open any of the 81 plus packs? Let me know what you got from them. In my opinion, again, a waste of money. And that's why I'm telling you guys, don't do it. But hopefully you enjoyed this experiment. Me trying this out. If you want to see more of these videos, just give this video a like or subscribe if you haven't already it helps me out a lot pushes me into the algorithm but for now i want to thank you guys for watching and hopefully see you in another video and way more to come